A decision by Missouri Governor Mike Parson late last week has elected officials on both sides of the aisle expressing outrage. Parson commuted the sentence of Britt Reed, the former Chiefs assistant coach and son of Andy Reed, who critically injured a young girl in a drunk driving crash. Tonight, we're breaking down what that means and how lawmakers are reacting. Color 10's Parker Padgett is live tonight in Springfield. Yeah, Governor Parson's office said late last week that commuting the sentence is not a full pardon. Now, I talked to a legal expert about how often Parson makes these decisions and why Democrats and Republicans do not agree with the move. Uh, it's exceedingly rare, especially to happen sort of in the middle of a term like it has here. Britt Reed, the son of head coach Andy Reed, was sentenced in 2022 to three years in prison for driving drunk and causing a crash that severely injured five-year-old Ariel Young. Now he'll serve the rest of his time on house arrest. Parsons Camp says Reed will continue weekly meetings with parole officers, counseling, and is expected to follow community service and employment requirements. Typically when that happens, however, a governor can uh, impose other restrictions, impose other conditions. Several lawmakers were quick to express their disappointment with the decision, from Republican state senators to Democratic state reps. Greene County Republican Darren Chappell spoke with me on the phone about his reaction to the commutation. I think it sends uh, a message about how the state views drunk driving. He says Parson is strong on law and order, but this decision was a head scratcher. Barring something that's just out, outrageously uh, exculpatory, or at the very least uh, explains some aspect of this case that I don't know and I haven't seen in the press, I don't understand this particular commutation. To Democrats, like Springfield Representative Betsy Fogel, who gave us a statement that says in part the commutation of Reed's sentence, quote, is congruent with the tough on crime mentality Governor Parson claims to have. Mr. Reed's decisions have resulted in lifelong consequences for the young child. The justice system is complex, but showing compassion and respect for a family who is suffering is not. By commuting the sentence, Governor Parson made his priorities clear. Reed will remain on house arrest until October 31st, 2025. Reporting live in Springfield, Parker Padgett, Color 10 News. Secretary of State Jay Ashcroft, who's running for Missouri governor, also shared this statement with Color 10 about Reed's commutation. It says, quote, while I don't have all the facts, it is not a good look for the governor and not something I believe I would do. Britt Reed's reckless decision to drive drunk left Ariel Young with, lifelong tra with a lifelong traumatic brain injury. And while the Reed family obviously holds a special place in the hearts of Missourians and Kansas City Chiefs fans, that does not entitle them to special treatment. My heart goes out to the Young family.